A smaller brother of the F-150 Raptor, the 2023 Ford Ranger Raptor has rugged tires, more ground clearance, a unique grill, and flared fenders. It also has a long travel suspension and a more powerful engine and is only offered in the crew cab body style with a 5-foot cargo box. Let's take a look. Some exclusive materials inside the 2023 Ford Ranger Raptor include leather and micro suede upholstery. A red band marks 12 o'clock on the steering wheel along with visible aluminum paddle shifters. We expect to see the same standard and optional features like heated front seats, remote start and dual zone climate control too. The 2023 Ranger Raptor will feature a twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 that's said to make 392 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. However, those figures could be slightly different than the US version. It's essentially the same setup found on the Ford Bronco Raptor, which includes a 10-speed automatic transmission and standard four-wheel drive, complete with locking front and rear differentials. Compared to its pedestrian counterpart, the Raptor will have a sturdier suspension and beefier off-road equipment. Along with a higher ride height and increased ground clearance, it has 33-inch all-terrain tires that bookend wider front and rear tracks. This is where the Raptor shines, and that probably comes as no surprise. We went looking for as many different terrain types we could drive on in the Blue Mountains, from fast dirt to mud and rocks, and there's no dual cab Uta on the market that handles the rough stuff like the Ranger Raptor. Corrugations and bumps can be taken at speeds that would send you through the roof of other utes, and when you want to slow things down for steep descents, the gearing options provided by the 10-speed automatic transmission are seemingly endless. In low range, this thing can crawl with the best of them. There are many aces up the Raptor's sleeve, and by selecting what terrain you are driving on via the selectable drive modes, things get considerably more serious. Front and rear diff locks certainly help the cause, as does the previously mentioned Fox suspension which not only rides well, but offers an impressive amount of suspension travel. Engaging the 4WD modes isn't as simple as twisting a dial, and it can be a bit confusing to operate as you need to be in certain drive modes to make some selections. Once you have a play with it, you get used to it, and we recommend you get familiar with it before hitting bush. When you do have the system dialed in, all four WD sequences are quickly and smoothly engaged, 